I warned you a long time ago, Elizabeth, not to name this ministry after a man or a woman. Even before there was a ministry, I put it in your spirit. For none of this has been done by your hands. None of this has come forth from your mouth. It is from the mouth of Yahweh that has given birth. It is from the mouth of Yahushua, your Mashiach, that has been given birth. It is from the mouth of the Rekakadash Yimayah that has been given birth. If it had only been by your hands, it would have failed long ago. It is by the Shekinah of glory's wind that blows across this earth. The holy wind of revival. It is not by your breath or it would have failed. Second Chronicles 36, 16. But they mocked the messengers of Yah and despised his words and scoffed at his prophets until the wrath of Yahweh rose against his people until there was no remedy. Beware of touching Yah's true prophets and doing them harm. Hello, my beloved of Mighty Wind Congregation and anyone who is visiting right now. This is Apostle Prophet Elisheva Eliyahu, the leader of this ministry. And I'm oh so very, 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 very grateful. There's a new co-leader coming, a new ring bearer. And no, his name is not the former one. This is a gift straight from heaven. And I want you to remember the name of Asa Mekaya is the name that I want all to be on all of the lips of all of you who have been praying and fasting and waiting. I have something to look forward to. Now listen, listen up, okay? We have so much, so much, so much to be grateful for. We are going to be doing podcasts for number one. Number two, you're going to be seeing face-to-face Asa Mekaya. We have the Hebrew translator. We've worked so hard to get these videos up to you. But you have to understand, we give you the best resolution. We want to give you the very best because Yahushua only deserves the very best. And Yahushua wants you to watch all of these things. And don't forget those thumbs up. I really need it. YouTube does a real number on me. But praise Yahushua HaMashiach. I've got the joy of Yahushua HaMashiach. I've got a smile on my face because I have the joy of Yushua Mashiach, who is my strength, who has promised me uh, that I would not stand alone in this ministry. The good work that was started is going to be finished. We are going to reach Israel, and we're going to reach the children in Ishmael on top of the other languages around this world.
I'm tied to the hem of my garment. So loco se de la yana lagata. Don't let go. So co so co se de yana lagata. As you sleep out in your sickles. So loco so co yana lagata. Rina laka yana lagata. Rina lagata. Orina. Remember that that's just a temporary tabernacle. So loco se de la yana lagata. Just like this mortal flesh is a temporary tabernacle. So loco so co so co yana lagata. Corona ma yana lagata. Kayana lagata. And just as I keep you safe in your sukkahs, how much more will I do for you? As you honor me on the holy feast, as you shun the holidays of this world, as you cleave unto me, Sayana Nakata, as a lover that you do not want to leave the embrace, Sayana Sayana Nakata, how much more will I hold you, Sayana Nakata, how much more will I caress you, Soko Soko Sayana Nakata. This is a time of my birth on this earth, Soko Sayana Nakata, and how free we even acknowledge it, Soko Sayana Nakata, they'll take a heathen holiday, Soko Sayana Nakata. Dedicated to another heathen from the straight from the pit of hell. Soko 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 yana nakata. Kori nana yana nakata. Koyana nakata. Baki nana yana nakata. And they give me that birthday. Soko soko yana nakata. Pokoto yana nakata. And on this time, Mr. Kot, Sakasi yana nakata. How few honor me. Soko 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 yana nakata. How few honor the price I paid. Soko soko. I paid the price with only once. It was only once I had to die. And no man took my life. It was I and only I, Yahushua, that said it is finished. And it was my time. I did not die in man's time. I did not arise in man's time. I arose in Yahweh's time. Oh, how long, how long, how long, Sinagata. How long, how long, how long, Sinagata. I have waited to be able to embrace my bride, Sinagata. But it shall not be much longer, Sinagata. It shall not be much longer, Sinagata. You will be in my arms, Sinagata. You will hear my voice, Sinagata. Just don't give up, Sinagata. Don't you quit. For you have come this far, don't give up, don't you quit, don't you compromise, with the world's lies, the more that the world tells you that you're unholy, know that you are holy, the more that they mock and they laugh, because you follow the Torah laws, know that you are mine. The more you defend the Sabbath, the Shabbat, and say it is not a Sunday, just know that you are mine. Don't give up, Sokosiana Nakata. Don't quit, Sokoyana Nakata. Although the persecution is so heavy, Sokoyana Nakata, and although it will get heavier, Soko Soko Sokoyana Nakata, remember whose name you're persecuted for, Sokoyana Nakata. Remember who you're hated for, Sokoyana Nakata. Ayana Nakata, Bokoyana Nakata, Bakina Nakata.
Yeshua is that temple. Yeshua is the only blood sacrifice I will accept. Yeshua came to Israel as a babe. Yeshua was your blood sacrifice. Yeshua is the only holy blood sacrifice. O oh, Israel, hear me. Yeshua's blood poured into Israel's soil and yet fills the entire four corners of the earth. O oh, Israel, you who observe and remember the Jewish feasts and holy days, do you not yet see Yeshua is in all of them? O oh, Israel, return to me in holiness. Turn away from your sins and true repentance in the name of my son, Yahshua. O oh, Israel, I weep for your pain, but remember as I am holy, so too you must be set apart and be holy. Don't forget... Sukkot is coming. Soko 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 yana nakata rina nakata sarina na yana nakata. Do the best you can to observe it. Soko 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 yana na yana nakata sarina na yana nakata poko yana nakata parina na yana nakata dono yana nakata sarina. If you can do nothing more, sleep on the floor. Soko soko yana nakata and make a tent with a blanket. Soko soko yana na yana nakata. I know your heart. Soko 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 yana nakata. Porina na yana nakata. Pokoto yana nakata. I know what you can do. Soko 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 yana nakata. Parina na yana nakata. Boko yana nakata. Sayana nakata. Boko yana nakata. And I will honor it. Soko soko siena na yana nakata. And I will bless you. Soko 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 yana nakata. Well, it was during prayer, well, I, I prayed very hard during the time of Sukkot at tabernacling with uh, Yahushua, and I could feel his presence, and there was even a Sukkot prophecy. Of course, it has not been released. Yahushua said, you cannot release this now. This is a time of celebration. So it's on hold. <laughs> um, what is that, like five on hold, I think, at least now? But I heard Yahushua say this to me, and he had actually even spoke to me in my sleep, and he was telling me how honored he was during the time of Sukkot. Those who made the videos, um, he was so honored, and he felt so much love coming from each one of them, all the Holy Trinity, Abba Yahweh, Yah, and, and of course Yahushua, and the Ruach HaKadosh, they all felt such overwhelming love. He just kept saying how honored he was and how comforted he was that it wasn't just Sukkot, which is a foreshadow of his birthday. And he just said, a Sukkot is my birthday on earth. And it's the first day of Sukkot is his birthday. And he says, and my beloved Elishav Eliyahu, I'm giving you new instructions as a head of a mighty wind ministry. And I want you to tell the congregation, Behold, I, Yahushua HaMashiach, order you, my beloved Elishava Eliyahu, to do a new thing with the Holy Trinity's ministry, a mighty wind. And on Hanukkah, I want this celebration of the Festival of Booths to continue. I want it to be a celebration, just as you did with the Sukkah, in the Festival of Booths, Sukkot, so too during the time of Hanukkah. For this is the time your Messiah was placed by the beautiful hand of the Ruach HaKodesh's invisible hand into my birth mother Miriam's womb. Should you not celebrate that? You celebrate my birth, and now I'm asking you to celebrate the time of Hanukkah in the same way with these eight days. For I am the eternal guiding light. I am the reason Hanukkah is named the Festival of Lights. The building, the sukkah, the sukkah, were instructions given which foreshadowed my birth in a stable in Bethlehem. And in the Hebrew language, sukkah translates 
into the word in English, stable. And we know in Bethlehem, he was born in a stable, which was really a sukkah also. But there was no animals in it. Thank you, my beloved Elisheva Eliyahu, for setting the example to other ministries. And tell a mighty wind congregation, I am well pleased with their proof of love by obeying and living holy and celebrating my birthday on Sukkot for the eight days and being so faithful to you as a leader of this ministry and acknowledging only the Holy Trinity as the head. Yahushua HaMashiach's birth on this earth was during the season of Sukkot. And Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the people of Israel, saying, On the fifteenth day of this seventh month, and for seven days, is Chag Sukkot, the Feast of Booths. On the first day shall be a solemn rest, and on the eighth day shall be a solemn rest. You shall celebrate it as a feast to Yahweh, it is a statute forever. You shall dwell in Sukkot, booths, for seven days that your generations may know that I made the people of Israel dwell in booths, temporary shelters, when I brought them out of the land of Egypt. I am Yahweh your God. Leviticus 23 In the temple courts, Yahushua kept both Sukkot and Hanukkah according to the New Testament, John chapter 7 and 10. Shout it out loud and shout it out clear. We in the Mind Wind Ministry are here and we're putting our Sukkot right back up for Hanukkah and we don't care what anybody thinks Prophet Elisheva's sukkah never came down and neither has ours besides the miracle of lights the book of 2nd Maccabees tells us the origin of Hanukkah is the autumn festival of Sukkot except celebrated later in the winter now Judah Maccabee and his company Yahweh guiding them recovered the temple and the city but the altars which the heathen had built they pulled down, and having cleansed the temple, offered a sacrifice after two years, and set forth incense and lights and showbread. And they kept the eight days with gladness, as in the Feast of Tabernacles, remembering that not long afore they had held the Feast of Tabernacles, as they wandered in the mountains and dens like beasts. Therefore they bare branches and fair boughs, and palms also. They ordained every year those days should be kept of the whole nation of the Jews. 2 Maccabees 10 See that ye keep the Feast of Tabernacles in the month of Kislev. 2 Maccabees 1 verse 9 so we're going to do it. And anyone who would like to join, you're welcome to. Do you want to see Apostle Elisheva's personal sukkah? You're invited inside. Shalom, a mighty man congregation, and all those who are visitors who worship Baba Yahweh, Yahushua, and the Ruach HaKadosh, the only Holy Trinity, which are three in one. I want to invite you to my sukkah, all of you, these are my own personal possessions that are used on Shabbat and on these holy days. I share with you something I have never shared before on this special Sukkot. With much love, Apostle, Prophet, Elisheva, Eliyahu, in the love of Yahushua, I invite you into the sukkah. So come join with us. Come be in my sukkah. Let us dance together. Let us show the celebration of the birth on this earth of the only king of Israel. The only Messiah, the only way, the truth, and the life to heaven. Hallelujah! Happy Sukkot! And a happy birthday, Yahushua HaMashiach. We worship, we love, and we adore you. And oh, a mighty wing congregation, you are so faithful and so loving and supportive. 
I love you so much, and I look forward to meeting you in heaven. Yerushua HaMashiach bless you. Shalom. Amen. Vesamachta dechagecha ve'ayita achsamea. Thou shalt rejoice in thy festival, and thou shalt only rejoice. Deuteronomy 16. When you have gathered in the produce of the land, you shall celebrate the feast of Yahweh seven days. On the first day shall be a solemn rest, and on the eighth. And you shall take the fruit of splendid trees, branches of palm trees, and boughs of leafy trees, and willows of the brook, and you shall rejoice before Yahweh your God. Leviticus 23. Ani Yohavet is Hebrew for I love you. And we worship and we love and we adore you with our mind, body, spirit, and soul. All the co-creators of the who are the Holy Three Trinity, Abba Yahweh Yahushua, and the Ruach Hakodesh. The bride and the groom on this table represents the bride of Yahushua Hamashiach. Oh, we look forward to being the bride. We look forward to the words that you spoke in the prophecies. We will be dancing the Jewish dances with you at the marriage supper of the Lamb, beloved Yahushua. You will dance with each one of your bride. You will dance with each one of the guests. Well, you must have witnesses. Not all can be the bride. And they all are welcome. And the scripture says, blessed are all who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. You can see my anointing vials of oil on this table. You can see on top of a special jewelry box, a mirrored one that holds my precious jewelry that is holy, my own personal prayer shawl. You can see the I love you the golden heart. And that now symbolizes I love you to the Gan, our beloved Abu Yahweh, Yahushua, and the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Trinity. Hallelujah! Once again, happy Sukkot! Ami Ohevet! Beloved Yahushua HaMashiach, Happy birthday. We celebrate Sukkot and we acknowledge that you were born on the first day and then we celebrate it for eight days. On the eighth day is when you were circumcised. Yahushua, we worship you. Amen. Prophet Elisheva Eliyahu's own sukkah with her own personal possessions is publicly shown in this video. Since she is the leader of a mighty wind ministry, sharing it with all of the mighty wind congregation. And all who are blessed by a mighty wind ministry, by the holy prophecies, and by her. And accept them as a blessing from the Holy Trinity, Abba Yahweh, Yosha Hamashik, and the precious Ruach HaKodesh. Oh people, I know millions have come to Yahushua because he told me to give birth to this ministry online over 25 years ago, but this is the first time I have ever invited you into my sukkah. This is the first time that we have ever done anything like sharing the videos we are sharing of members of this congregation that I trust and love. This is the first time that I've shown my own personal most treasured items on this earth is found on these tables you see here. Nothing else can compare to what you see on those tables. For even the anointing oil is there. Everything, everything that is needed is a reminder of who Yahushua HaMashiach is. And the Ohabit, and the Ohabit. To all who receive, 
this ministry and me and those who help me labor in this harvest field to bring souls to Yahushua so we can be, meet each other in heaven. More than that, it's for the salvation of your soul. But just remember, to those who get to heaven, shout out my name. I'll come running. I'll give you the biggest hug. And we will rejoice. We will rejoice. For well, the work on earth was finally done. And we will rejoice for all eternity. For the price Yushua Mashiach gave with his own life. I don't know about you, but I'm counting down the days, and we're one more day closer to heaven. One more day being wrapped in his arms. I have seen Yahushua face to face, and my testimony is already on this in this ministry. I'm telling you, he is real. I will stand before the thrones one day, and you will know that what I speak is the truth. Yahushua HaMashiach, bless all those who worship Yahushua HaMashiach in spirit and in truth and strive to obey him and who repent of their sins, not just in words, but in actions. Shalom. Happy Sukkot and happy birthday, beloved Yahushua, when you were birthed on this earth during this time of Sukkot. And this, this, this is also called the Festival of Booths. And I want to explain to you, as they put up that temporary tabernacle in the Old Testament, the Old Blood Covenant, as I said, it was just a shadow of what would happen when Yahushua said it is finished. These bodies of ours are the temporary tabernacles right now. And they're waiting to put on those glorified spiritual bodies. Do you understand? When you read the Old Blood Covenant, remember Yahushua said he did not come to cancel the laws of the prophets. He came to fulfill them. He came to say, I've given, a, given you a better way. And he said, it is finished. And when he said it is finished, it was finished. There is no more sacrifices. There is no more burnt offerings that will please Yahweh. For Moshe warned of that. Moses warned. That's Moshe's name. He warned. Yahweh said no more animal sacrifices would be covering of any sins. And Moshe warned. It was a new blood covenant coming to wash the sins away. And it is Yahushua, the highest of the high priest in the order of Melchizedek, because he is and he was Melchizedek. And don't let anyone else tell you different. Please, people, study and show yourself approved. Stay humble and walk in humility and pray you will not be deceived. Thank you for coming to my sukkah, which I open up now as the Almighty Wind, the Aleph and the Tav, the Raka Kadesh, Holy Fire Ministry, affectionately. Yahushua calls a mighty wind ministry. For it's a mighty wind that comes rushing in each and every sukkah who truly worship and adore and exalt the majesties, King of King and Lord of Lords. He's coming again. Are you ready? Will it be another sukkot we have to wait? This is the time that we celebrate. 
not like in the old blood covenant. That's not why we're doing it. That was just history. That is a foreshadow of who Yahushua is when he was going to be birthed. Remember when you read the old blood covenant, it is history, it's a foreshadow of everything Yahushua did for us as a perfect blood atonement for sin. For no one that ever walked this earth was perfect in the form of a human except for one. And it was Yahushua HaMashiach. Oh, my beloved, a mighty wind congregation, and you visitors, come and watch us celebrate how we, we honor our Messiah, the one and the only. He was born a Jew from a Jewish virgin woman. The miracles that take place that are recorded happened in Israel. Oh, Israel, we love you. Oh, Israel, come back. Come back. Yahweh has promised to remarry you. Come back in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. The Shema is still the one true God. But there are three, Yahweh, Yahushua Mashiach, the only begotten son of Yahweh, and the Raka Kadash, sweet Holy Spirit. When you see the celebration, it doesn't matter whether or not you've known this before. I speak to the Hebrews all over the world. It's not too late. Come into the arms of Yahushua. And look forward to our next coming videos. Because next is going to be Hanukkah. Which we call the Festival of Lights. Because Yahushua is the eternal light. That was when Yahushua was conceived. We celebrate Hanukkah. Yes, I know the Old Blood Covenant says it was for the rededication of the temple and for the, the temple was defiled. Dead bodies laid all around it and there was not enough oil to be able to light the lanterns, the menorah. There was a miracle that happened and once again, it happened in Israel. But it was history. It was a shadow to come of Yushua Mashiach, the eternal light that will never go out. And when you have the Ruach HaKadosh inside of you, you have an anointing inside of you, an eternal light that will never go out. As long as you prove that you have accepted Yahushua as Mashiach, as Messiah's Savior, whatever name you want to call him, he loved us so much. He said, if there had only been one Everyone whose name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life could only come in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, also called Jesus Christ. He should be the love of your soul, for he is a lover of your soul. You should be celebrating and woe unto you, mainline Christian churches, where I was first saved in a Pentecostal church. You don't even teach the Jewish feasts. 
You don't even tell the people that you birthday. And it's not December 25th. Come out of agreement with Satan. Mainline. Organized churches. Line up with the true. Holy scriptures. He is the king of Israel. And they could not take that. Those words. That were above that cross. He was crucified on. But hallelujah. On the third day. After he said it is finished. He rose again. He was resurrected. Came out of that tomb. And we know this. For those who have died. And those who belong to Yahushua. To be absent from the body. Is to be present with the Lord. Yahushua HaMashiach. Stand on the new blood covenant scriptures called the New Testament. Read the old blood covenant, the Old Testament. But see that Yahushua was there everywhere from Genesis to Revelation. And do not believe any other doctrines. For they can be doctrines of the devils. And there's so many out there right now. People, there is no way to heaven except through the name and the blood of Yahushua. That's why we say, Happy Sukkot, Happy Birthday, our beloved Ani, O oh, Heaven, we worship you, we worship you, we worship you, Yahushua HaMashiach. All of us celebrate. All of us celebrate. And to a mighty wind congregation and those who visit, come back. And see for yourself and taste and see the fruit of this ministry is good. For you will never hear anything that doesn't line up with the Holy Scriptures. Shalom. This salvation prayer was given by Yahweh, Yahushua, and the precious Ruach HaKodesh to Apostle Elisheba Eliyahu 25 years ago. This emotional prayer has never been redone until now. Especially if you are not saved yet and haven't given your life to Yahushua or if you have backslidden into sin. We urge you and more than urge you to say this salvation prayer together with her. If necessary, listen to it several times and get this prayer into your spirit. And again, repeat it with Elisha Veliyahu with all of your heart and with all of your soul. And get saved because tomorrow could be too late. Get saved and give your life to Yahushua HaMashiach right now. Dearest beloved Yahushua HaMashiach, I give my life to you now. I ask that you live through me. I ask that you create in me a pure heart. Psalm 51. I accept you, Yahushua HaMashiach. Now, as a ruler of my life, and my Messiah and Savior. You are the God that I worship and love. I need and I want and I desire. Forgive me for my sins, for I know all have sinned and fell short of the glory of our creators. Forgive me, Yahushua. Wash me clean. Wash me clean. I confess my sins before you now. I lay them at the foot of the cross of Calvary, where you were crucified and tortured and where you died in three hours. Later you said it is finished. And yet you didn't stay dead on the third day. You did arise before witnesses. And for 40 days you walked this earth until you ascended back to heaven before witnesses. Yeshua HaMashiach, whom some call Jesus Christ, I declare your Hebrew name now before the great tribulation comes. The name is used as a curse word when they say Jesus Christ. And they do not dare to say that as a curse word of Muhammad or, or Allah or Buddha 
or even Satan, but they curse the name above all names. One of the parts of the Holy Trinity. For you are the only begotten son of Abba Yahweh. And the Ruach HaKadosh. And you are the Holy Trinity, and there is no other. You are the co-creators. You are the word that was made flesh. Oh, Yahushua, forgive me. Yahushua HaMashiach, the Messiah. Above that cross hung the words, King of Israel, and they couldn't take it down. Because you are coming back again to rule and reign. And oh, Yahushua, the bride of Yahushua, say, come, Yahushua, come. But not everyone is fit to be the bride of Yahushua. And so you say in the book of Revelation, blessed are all who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. Oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, forgive me of my sins. Wash me, wash me clean with the only pure, holy blood sacrifice. When you walked this earth for 33 years, you never had a thought of sin. You never had an action of sin. Although you were tempted with every sin, you told the devil to get lost. He had no claim on you. And he will have no claim on me after I say the salvation prayer. O oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, I believe you paid the price for my sins. At Calvary, you were crucified, you were tortured, you were mocked, you were spit upon. Your clothes were, were stripped off of you as soldiers gambled, even for the clothes on your back. O oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, forgive me. And put your Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit, within me. So let me know when I do right and wrong. Send the Comforter. Let the Comforter come in me now. For I know you are not dead, but you arose again on that third day. As that big boulder was rolled away that the soldiers had placed there and guarded. But that did not stop you on that third day. The boulder rolled away. I ask you to come into my heart. To forgive me of my sins. I confess every sin to you now and I name them. And I turn away from them. Because I've been washed clean of all the unrighteousness. All the filthiness of this world. I give my life and my love to you. I will not deny you. O oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, you said if there had only been one, if there had only been me who would cry out for mercy, you would forgive and the sins would be as far as the east is from the west. You said there's only one sin that could not be forgiven, and that is a blasphemy of the Raka Kadesh, the sweet Holy Spirit. Oh, beloved Yahushua, I would not be saying this prayer now if I was someone who was of blasphemy, unless it was of mockery. And I do not mock. I truly believe with all of my heart, and I will not doubt there is but one truth and way and life to get to heaven. There's only one intercessor, only one name, that Abba Yahweh, the Holy Father, will even listen to a prayer, and that's through your name, Yahushua HaMashiach. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I have sinned against you so greatly. But I rise up, I'm not staying fallen. And I rise up. And I come to you. And I hang on tight. To the cross at Calvary. Where you died for me. 
and where you said it was finished. I turn away from every sin. I rebuke Satan and all those who are part of him. I rebuke the unholiness in the name and the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach shall constantly be on my lips and I shall study and show myself approved and I shall read the New Testament. I shall read and I shall know you are the Torah from the law, from the beginning to the end, from Genesis to Revelation. I thank you now for filling me with your Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh, the sweet, sweet Shekinah glory, the very presence of Yahweh. And thank you for giving me the desire to serve you all the days of my life. And thank you for giving me the desire to live your life in me. Oh, Yahushua, live your life through me. I give your, my life and my soul to you. My mind and my body belongs to you. I'm so grateful. I have a Messiah. There is a blood sacrifice for, as it is written, with out, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission, no forgiveness for sin. And the blood of the animals of the, that were sacrificed in the Old Testament, in the Old Blood Covenant, would not satisfy Abba Yahweh anymore, for the sin was so great. He had to send his only begotten Son, to whomsoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Thank you for filling me with faith to believe and never doubt. Oh, let your name be glorified through these lips and everything I do from now on. Show me how I can serve you. Show me how I can glorify you. Show me how I can exalt you. Thank you for freeing me from every addiction. Thank you for freeing me from every sin. And although I won't be perfect, thank you. Thank you that I'm able to say and reach out to you again and say, Yo, sure, I've fallen. Please forgive me. But I will not premeditate sin. I will not hurt you like that purposely. Thank you for giving me the desire to read the Bible, especially everything about you. Thank you for helping me to understand what Elisha Yahu is teaching as a Messianic Jew. She's teaching the Hebrew roots of the biblical scriptures and the Torah. It's from Genesis to Revelation. Your name is there. If they only knew Hebrew, they would see. As you told Ella Shavel Yahu, you taught her that the Torah, the Old Testament, was only a foreshadowing of when you would come. You would have a better plan. Moses did what he was to do. For at that time, it was not yet for you to be born. But even the blood that was over the doorpost of that sacrificial lamb was a foreshadow of you, Yahushua HaMashiach, when your blood would save and the angel of death would be forced not to touch those inside. And the curses could not come upon them, for they truly worshipped Abba Yahweh. Thank you for giving me the wisdom to understand the holy scriptures and the holy prophecies that you have spoken forth through a mighty wind ministry. Thank you for loving me and saving my soul. You said if it had only been me, you would have went to the cross at Calvary. You would have been tortured. You would have been beaten. And by your stripes, you said I was healed. You did not stop at your salvation. But you allowed Satan to go into the torturer that beat you 39 times. 
with a no ordinary whip, but a whip with bits of lead and stone and anything that could rip and tear your, your skin in shreds till you barely even looked human and then forced you to carry hundreds of pounds of a cross up the hill of Golgotha. Oh, Yahushua, help my faith to grow each day, oh, Yahushua, Mashiach, so one day I will be with you in heaven and you will embrace me and cover me in kisses. I will be at the marriage supper of the Lamb. I will not deny you even when it comes to the fact that they say you have to lay your life down like they will demand for people to become martyrs. And only the bride of Yahushua HaMashiach will have a testimony as unto Enoch. So help me to be strong in you. Fill me overflowing with the Ruach HaKodesh Holy Spirit now and deliver me from the evil one called Satan in your name, Yushua HaMashiach. Let the demons flee now in seven different directions as I belong to you, Yushua HaMashiach, as I say this prayer. And I pray it and I will continue to pray it each and every day until it gets in my spirit and my soul and my mind and my body. Oh, Yahushua, help me. Yahushua, to remember all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of the Father, Yahweh. You came to save us sinners. And that's why you're called our Savior, our Mashiach. You are the one and the only way to heaven. Your name is salvation. Yah saves. It is not Yeshua. It takes away the divinity of your name. You're named after the Father. And the Father's name is in your name. This is what I've been taught to stay. Help me, O Yahushua HaMashiach. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Help me, Yahushua HaMashiach, for I know I will be persecuted for your name's sake. Help me, Yahushua HaMashiach. I will never give up my faith in who you are. This day I am born again. I am blood washed. I am blood bought. My soul is not for sale. I belong to you, Yahushua HaMashiach. And because of it, I can now say to Satan, as it is written, submit yourself unto the name of Yeshua HaMashiach and then resist the devil and he shall flee from me. And submit means I will obey you. I will obey the Ten Commandments. I will obey the holy feast that Abba Yahweh has set in place to bring honor to the Holy Trinity. Abba Yahweh, Yahushua HaMashiach and the Ruach HaKadosh, sweet Holy Spirit, I will honor the Shabbat day and I will keep it holy and it is not the lie of a Sunday. Help me, Heavenly Father, to defend the truths of a mighty wind ministry and the truths and the prophecies. Let me not turn into a reprobate enemy. Oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, I worship, I praise, I love and I adore you. Thank you for coming into my heart. By faith I believe every addiction has fleed from me. Every temptation to sin right now is gone. 
And when I am tempted, remind me to call upon the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. I worship you. Oh, Abba Yahweh, I've come now to the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, and I come before your throne, and I ask for your help. For Yahushua has told me that before none could come to you and have a prayer answered, unless it's through the name and the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach. I will read this prayer and I will hear this prayer for it was spoken underneath the anointing and Elisha Yahu did not even know one word from the next what she would speak for you put the new prayer in her mouth for even the old prayer has passed away and become new and I will say it not with the head knowledge but with all of my heart I believe it in faith and I will remember that Yahushua HaMashiach is not only my God and my Lord and the soon coming King of Israel and the only begotten Son of Yahweh. He is my Messiah. He is my healer, my deliverer, my resurrector. And he is my best friend who will never leave me nor forsake me. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for he is with me. I hang on to Psalm 91, and I hang on to Psalm 23, for I know you, Yeshua HaMashiach, you love me so much. You love me so much, you led me to where this prayer is. You love me just the way I am. You love me so much that you said, now I will make you better. Now I will raise up in you the true spirit within you so that I can say that you are pleasing unto me and no longer call you a worker of sin. Yahushua, you paid the price for my sins. And now I don't need to feel guilty or condemned anymore. For I have confessed every filthy sin before you, Yahushua HaMashiach. I have named them and I have cried tears over them. And I have told you that I am so sorry. And you have said, my child, I forgive you. Now you must have faith, and faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen, and even if I don't hear your voice like Prophet Elishavela Yahu, I know that you hear me. I know that you see me. I know that I am a child of Abba Yahweh. You, Yahushua HaMashiach, and you, precious Ruach HaKadosh, Holy Spirit, Imaya. All of my sins are now forgiven. And there's a no fishing sign there. The only one that can go there is if I choose to remember my past sins and feel dirty about them all over again. Or if I choose to allow Satan to go fishing there and say, remember what you used to be and do. And that's when you have told me, Yahushua, that I am to tell Satan, I am forgiven. My soul belongs to Yushua HaMashiach. And as he reminds me of the past, I will remind him of the future, and that is a bottomless pit for eternity and the lake of fire. I now know that a sin is anything that I have done that displeases a holy Abba Yahweh, and you, Yahushua, and you, Ruach HaKadosh, I know that we all work out our own salvation with fear and trembling, and whatever was done in the war in heaven against Lucifer, the war has been brought down here on this earth, and I will fight him. I will fight Satan and all of the unholy ones with him, and all of the reprobates. I will fight them. 
not in my strength, not in my might, but in the anointing of the Ruach HaKodesh. I will get to know who you are, Yushua HaMashiach. For John 3.16, the Bible tells me that I must confess you as my ruler of my life, my Lord, my Savior, my Messiah. So you will confess me before the Holy Father, Abba Yahweh. I must remember never to be ashamed of the name of Yushua HaMashiach. Never be ashamed of the truths and the revelations I will be taught. For Yahushua HaMashiach is not ashamed of me. I will tell someone that I can trust. That today I have made the decision of my life. This is my birthday. The day I say this prayer with all of my mind, with all of my heart. My body and my soul and my soul belongs to Yushua. I accepted you, Yahushua, of Calvary and Nazareth, born in Bethlehem, both God in the spirit and both God in the flesh. But it was flesh and spirit that hung on the cross at Calvary. And this day I know that all the angels in heaven are rejoicing. They are rejoicing and they're singing with joy. And if no one ever rejoices over me on this earth, if I feel no one ever loves me or accepts me for who I am, I know that you rejoice and I know that all the angels rejoice for this is what the Bible says. And I know this apostle prophet, Pastor Elisheva Eliyahu, rejoices over me right now. And she has said, if I need a pastor, can I have one? And I know I am welcomed by a mighty wind that come online ministry that is in 51 different languages around this world that call upon you. We are not alone. And they all tell me that I am welcome. And they all wait for me to write Elisheva Eliyahu and tell her, I've accepted you, Yahushua HaMashiach. And even though I was an Orthodox Jew, and I speak now to those who will be Orthodox Jews, they too are welcome to come to Yahushua HaMashiach the way I've come to you this day. And oh, I look forward, Yahushua HaMashiach, for you embracing me and hugging me so tight and kissing my cheeks. I look forward at the marriage supper of the Lamb. Whether I be a bride or a guest, I will dance the Jewish dance with you. Oh, Yahushua, thank you for forgiving me. I feel so clean now. Thank you, Yahushua HaMashiach. Help me to grow quickly in you. Help me, give me more discernment. There's so many false prophets out there, so many who claim to be Christians, and yet they're lukewarm that you're going to spit out of your mouth, vomit out of your mouth, as the book of Revelation says. Oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, bring another believer to me so I will not walk this walk alone, but if I must, so be it. For I don't walk alone, I walk with you, my new best friend, my Messiah, my Lord God, my Savior. I have you, Yahushua HaMashiach. Thank you for the gift of eternal life that I just inherited this day. To know my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Please keep it there and never let it be blotted out, is my prayer. And take not the Ruach HaKadosh Holy Spirit from me. 
instead of increase the anointing within me. This is my prayer. I ask this day, on my true birthday, I said this salvation prayer. In Yahushua HaMashiach's name, I know that I will be hated more in this world than I am loved. Just like if you were walking this earth right now, they would hate you for your holiness. Thank you, Yahushua HaMashiach. For I know when Satan hates me and the demons and the reprobates hate me and they call me crazy, I know I truly belong to you, Yahushua HaMashiach, and I have been born again this day. Blood washed and blood bought, and my soul is no longer mine, but in your hand, Yahushua HaMashiach. Amen. We're not gonna run, we're not gonna hide. Yahushua's coming back for his bride, we're YDS. We're standing strong, this is our song. The enemy said in three days she'll die. But Ali Shavali, who's alive, she's a YDS. Still standing strong, this is her song. May 24, 2005. Archangel Michael fought to get to her side, fighting off the enemy. He protects the bride. His wing hanging over her bedside Like an innocent two-year-old child She touched his wing Marveling at the beautiful sight The Judases will run and hide Reprobate enemies rejected, denied Jeremiah 6, 27 to 30 Is your eternal life No pride in Yoshua HaMashiach's bride Wanna be like Enoch raptured into the sky He was pleasing to Abba Yahweh He went to heaven alive We're not gonna run, we're not gonna hide Yoshua's coming back for his bride We're YDS, we're standing strong This is our song The enemy said in three days she'll die But Ali Sheva Eliyahu's alive She's a YDS Still standing strong, this is her song We're not gonna run, we're not gonna hide Yoshua's coming back for his bride, we're YDS We're standing strong, this is our song